Stephanie, you have to help me. Now that I've gone plant-based, I have no idea what to eat. Have you tried tofu? I am totally afraid of tofu. It's white, it's mushy, it just can't taste good. I totally get it. I was afraid of tofu too when I turned vegan about 30 years ago, but tofu is gonna to be your best friend when you wanna to stick to a plant-based diet. It's high in protein, it's full of vitamins and minerals, Plus, it makes a great substitute for meat and dairy. Years ago, I went to a vegetarian cooking school at a church of all places, and I tried tofu for the first time. I've been hooked ever since. Now I use tofu all the time and totally love it. So what exactly is tofu? Well, tofu is made a lot like cheese. Instead of using cow's milk, though, they use soy milk. So does tofu taste like cheese? No, you don't want to eat it like this, but you can't eat it raw, and I'm gonna make this into tofu egg salad. There's no cooking involved, but I do add a lot of flavors. I can show you how if you subscribe and hit the notification bell. We can get together every week, and I can show you how to make everything from tacos to coconut cream pie with tofu. Okay, well that does not sound right. Look, there are different kinds of tofu, and they're each good for different things. Let me show you. This is firm tofu. You see how it's packed in water? You're gonna to need to drain that water off. I will simply split the sides of the package and let the water drain out. Firm tofu is much softer and it breaks apart. The general rule of thumb for firm tofu is you want to make something that crumbles, like the tofu ricotta in the lasagna I told you about. There's a picture from my cookbook. Doesn't it look great? I'd be willing to try that. You could also use the firm tofu for scrambled tofu or the fake feta. When I use firm tofu, I like to drain out the excess water so there is room for more flavor as it soaks up the marinade. I like to wrap mine in a towel like this. I call it my tofu towel. And I wrap it up tight and put it aside while I'm making the rest of the ingredients and it's ready to go. This is extra firm tofu. You can use this for things that you want to hold their shape, like crispy tofu or tofu cubes or chunks. And you can use it in different recipes like curry or stir fry or anything that you want to have chicken-like chunks. You do not, you typically do not have to press extra firm tofu, but sometimes extra firm tofu is not as firm as you want it. And in that case, you'll want to press it like we did with the tofu towel with the firm tofu. I generally like to wrap mine up in a towel for just a couple of minutes so that the surface is dried off and it can brown nicely or get crispy like in my daughter's favorite, tofu skillet supper. Your daughter likes tofu? Yes, she once said tofu skillet supper was better than pizza. If you want the recipe and some of my other favorite tofu recipes, I'll put the link in the description box below. This, this is super firm tofu. It comes in a vacuum packed package and instead of a knife, you're gonna need scissors to get into this one. Feel the difference in that one. See the difference in all the tofu? There's firm and you can see how that's just crumbling apart already. There's the extra firm which holds its shape nicely, but it's not too firm. And then there's the super firm. That and to be honest, this used to be my least favorite kind of tofu. I always thought it was too firm and the texture was off. But recently I've learned some new ways to use it and it's really good. I use this to make uh, P.F. Chang's copycat lettuce wraps. I also use it to make a great ground beef substitute and it's perfect in sandwiches. I I'm almost convinced. Okay, just one more. And this is silken tofu. It's shelf stable, so it's you can keep it in the pantry. And it's great for things like creamy sauces, puddings, pies, anything that you want to be creamy. Wow, wow, it's a lot different. I could see how it could be creamy. If you'll notice, this is extra firm silken tofu. A lot of silken tofus are soft. And this one is my favorite for things like puddings and sauces. But there's too many different kinds. There's too many ways to cook it. I feel like I don't remember how to do it. It's just too much. I'm sorry I made it so difficult. It's really super easy. You just need a few simple techniques. When you make it a couple times, you'll be hooked and you'll never go back. Do you come over once a week and I'll show you how to cook tofu step by step. We'll learn how to make firm tofu, extra firm tofu, super firm, and we'll make that coconut cream pie. And people can like and subscribe. It'll be great. It'll be so much fun. That sounds fun. I really want to try that lasagna you showed me. All right, let's go. Check out this video, and I'll show you where to buy tofu, how to find it in the grocery store, and how to get the best deals.